Jurassic Park versus reality. Which dinosaur would win in a fight? That's the million dollar question. G'day ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host bringing you another Jurassic Park versus reality video. Today, we have the Giganotosaurus, Gigantosaurus, Giganotosaurus, however you want to pronounce it, we have these two versions facing off. We have the Giga from the Jurassic World Dominion movie, given the name Joker or Zeb. But Zeb rolls off the tongue better, so we'll go with that. And we also have our Acura Giga, which we'll just refer to as such. Which one will come out on top? That's what I will figure out today. Zeb is arguably the strongest theropod throughout the entirety of the Jurassic Park franchise. I'd argue the only other theropod on his level would be an adult Indominus Rex. This beast, above all others, measured approximately 15.5 meters in length and stood around 5.5 meters. Now, as always with fictional dinosaurs, finding the weight is always iffy as well as difficult. Sources say different things. But as far as my research has taken me, Zeb reached around 11 tons in weight. So yeah, he would have even given the largest Rexes a run for their money. We also have to understand that since Zeb only appears in the singular Jurassic World Dominion movie, we only have the few scenes he's in to judge off of. Most importantly, we only have one movie to judge his size, strength, speed, durability, etc. on. But even within a singular movie, he shows some impressive displays of everything. As far as strength goes, he dominates a healthy Rexy in a fight. This is the same Rexy that in a weaker health went head to head with the Indominus Rex and remained in the fight for a decent amount of time. But durability shows us a fair bit more. As Zeb tanked bites from Rexy without showing much if any injury, he sustained swipes from the Therizinosaurus and was unharmed after having the inside of his mouth lit on fire as well as being electrocuted in the eye. Also, statements throughout the franchise enforces that Zeb trumps the rest of the theropods, excluding the Indominus Rex as that's a hybrid and that can be a whole iffy story. This can just be understood as Rexy is stated to be greater than any other theropod alive prior to the Giga and Indominus Rex, the same Giga which destroyed her in the fight. Hence, we can say that Zeb is both stronger and more durable than both Rexy and Spinosaurus. Also, if we just look at the design of Zeb, he's covered in osteoderms, sharp spines, jagged teeth. I mean, clearly he's gone through the whole nine yards of it, and he's just absolutely decked out from head to tail. Now, as we look at our Acura Giga, we can notice a large amount of differences in not only size, but overall design. Our Acura Giga has a smoother design, lacking the large jagged spines and the heavy osteoderms layering its body. Because using an average Giga would be unfair, considering they weighed around the 8.5 ton range, we'll use its largest estimate, which weighed around 10.4 tons. This estimate is also suggested to have reached around 13.5 meters in length and a height of 4 meters, so certainly not small. Despite being a mega theropod, it had a sleeker design than that of the T-Rex, which was the definition of bulky. Now, of course, it's a bit difficult to be able to estimate the strength and durability. And since we can't see them today, as well as there's not too much research being carried out on them compared to the Rex, it means we can't be certain. But considering they went after sauropods, they were around the same weight class, as well as would have competed with each other, I would put them just under the Rex in both strength and durability. Despite being the largest theropod in the franchise, Zeb certainly wasn't slow. It's estimated that he could have even rivaled Rexy in speed, where he's said to have clocked around 48 kilometers an hour. Now, for weighing 11 tons, reaching those speeds is more than impressive. We can definitely say he doesn't miss leg day. As far as his agility is concerned, Zeb was shown to be able to react to both the Rexy and the Therizinosaurus. This was the same Rexy that has been shown to be fast enough to react to Velociraptors and the Indominus Rex, both highly agile creatures in their own right. For our Acura Giga, speed isn't necessarily on their size, but at the same time, it isn't too shabby. There's no doubt due to its sleeker build, it would have trumped the T-Rex in overall movement speed. So if we use William Seller's article as a basis, which suggests that the T-Rex could have reached around 19 km an hour, we can say that the Giga sat above that. This is also supported as Acilara Mendy stated that the Giga could have reached as much as 30 km an hour. And while this isn't on Zeb's level, it certainly would be enough to keep it in the fight. Agility, however, is a bit more difficult to assess, but due to its heavier frame, it most certainly wasn't the most agile creature. Using Eric Slively's 2019 paper based on the agility of theropods, it's evident that the Giga was almost twice as less agile as a T-Rex of the same proportion, and hence agility will be something that this creature lacks. Now, as with most theropods, their main weapons would be their jaws. Zeb doesn't have an exact bite force measurement, yet that doesn't mean we can't guesstimate. Personally, I think he has a lower bite force compared to Rexy, as T-Rexes are known for what? That's right, having the strongest bite forces within the franchise. 
However, I think that he has one of the most effective bites of any of the theropods. I feel like Zeb is a bit of a mix of its real life counterpart as well as a T-Rex, having both the effective cutting capability, reflective of the real life Giga, as well as the crushing power of a T-Rex. So while I can't say exactly Zeb's bite force, I'd place it between the real life counterpart and Rex's bite. Although not a major part of his weaponry, Zeb also has his claws, feet, tail, and skull. Each of these, though not able to deliver fatal blows on their own, are still powerful accessories that work well with his jaws, specifically his skull, as we saw that he was utilizing it to ram Rexy throughout the fight, gaining distance and practically being able to topple her. Now we jump into the accurate Giga's weaponry, and I'll be honest, it doesn't match up quite as well when comparing the two. Giga's aren't particularly specced when it comes to bone breaking ability, but rather being able to slice chunks of potential prey and opponents and then drain them out. In a study in 2021 from AJ, Rowe and Snively, the estimated bite force of this creature was around 25,000 newtons. And don't get me wrong, that's still a powerful bite. But to put that in comparison, in the same study, the T-Rex was estimated to have a bite of 61,000 newtons. Although we can pretty much confirm he had a weaker bite force compared to its Jurassic Park counterpart, I believe that it was a bit better suited for bleeding its opponents. I mean, once you look at the design, it's apparent that they had great neck rotation, which gave the skull a good degree of movement, and its jaws were built to bite quickly, being able to open close in a rapid succession. But now we have to ask, just how intelligent were these creatures? And I'll be honest, this will be the shortest section of the debate, as neither have much detail surrounding their intelligence. Zeb because he lacks showings, and the accurate Giga due to a lack of research. From what I see around Zeb, he's detailed to be quite unintelligent, unable to make quick choices, and rather reckless. Seems to me that Zeb isn't solving any finder word puzzles. As far as the accurate Giga is concerned, I honestly feel like there's a chance that it would be more intelligent than Zeb. Why is this you may ask? Well, studies carried out by researchers such as Susanna Hozell places a T-Rex potential intelligence at a high estimate to that of an ape. Now, considering the brain case of the Giga is about twice as small as that of the Rex, we can again guesstimate that at a high level it was about maybe half that of the Rex, could be a bit closer, but to me that's good enough evidence to maybe place it higher than Zeb. But again, I'll reiterate that I feel like neither's base intelligence is particularly going to give them the edge in this fight and hence won't be as important as a contributing factor. So here is the category where I think Zeb pretty much lacks the most in, which is senses. I mean, I'll give him this. He can at least see, so that's at least somewhat better than Rexy. However, as for smell and the rest of it, I don't think he's impressive. If we use the prologue in Jurassic World Dominion, we can see that he didn't notice Rex's ancestor until she was right in front of him. To me, that indicates a lack of sensory capabilities, but again, there's not too much evidence for this display, so that's why I'm going to have to pretty much lower Zeb's capability and say he wasn't quite kitted out. Although I'd put my money that the accurate Giga's senses were a fair bit higher than that of Zeb's. From discoveries, we know that they had a well-developed olfactory region of their brain. This indicates a solid sense of smell, and I'll go out on a limb and say that they had decent eyesight. The big issue is that unlike the Tyrannosaurus, there hasn't been as nearly as many discoveries nor research into either of these aspects. So again with the Giga, it leads to a lot of guesswork. Now we get into our last category of the bunch, this being battle intelligence. Both of these creatures are fairly stacked when it comes to this category, so let's just jump into it. Zeb, though only has a couple of showings throughout his time in Jurassic World Dominion, displayed that he was a hardy and intelligent fighter. In the first encounter we see with Rexy, the two fight over a deer carcass. Zeb engages with the headbutt before quickly biting the top of Rexy's snout. He handily wins this encounter, where Rexy retreats. And sure, it wasn't as proper of a fight that we see later, but it still shows that Zeb was capable of outmaneuvering a lighter and faster opponent without taking a hit. Then we move on to the final battle of Jurassic World Dominion, where we see Zeb quite easily take on Rexy. Throughout this battle, he showed off his capabilities, using his skull to again headbutt and create space, as well as tossing Rexy around to the ground to force her into a more vulnerable position. He also targeted Rexy's leg, which could have damaged her ability to stand and maneuver. After knocking Rexy out, he then fought against the Therizinosaurus, which he fared fairly well. He even targeted its weapons, where he bit off one of the Therese's claws although I won't act like he ended up winning this battle. After Rex's revival, he couldn't choose which one was the bigger threat, and his indecision ended up leading to his loss, where he ended up getting skewered by Rexy into the Therese's claws. Though if we're being honest, in a 1v1 against either of these dinos, Zeb would have undoubtedly won quite easily. The accurate Giga, on the other hand, did deal with its fair share of dangerous prey items, 
This mainly included sauropods. Now, as surprising and sad as it might be, these giant predators didn't actually hunt down the Argentinosaurus. They didn't even live at the same time, but they still likely preyed upon sauropods that were around their same size level. This includes Lamasaurus, which would have weighed around the 7 ton range, as well as Andosaurus, which would have been more closer to 14 tons. Now yes, this is technically a bit of a letdown as people often thought that this Giga would have taken on 50 ton behemoths, but it is what it is. Gigas also would have had experience fighting each other over the basics, you know, your territories, your resources and mating rights. Although we don't have explicit evidence like T-Rexes of broken neck bones healing and whatnot, they would have undoubtedly fought and hence it would have contributed to battle IQ. Alright, so who wins this battle of fiction against reality? I'll be honest, unlike the Rex vs Accurate Rex, I don't think this one's that close. As far as weight goes, the two of them are quite even, with only a 600kg difference. Yet their structures are fairly different. Zeb looks like he was evolved for fighting, thick yet sharp jagged teeth in a large skull attached to an even larger body covered in spines and osteoderms which act like a natural armour. I mean, I think as far as pure physicality goes, the Jurassic World Dominion's version is evidently better suited for fighting. Also, Zeb is both faster and more agile, which is an important factor as the accurate Giga's combative style most likely involved getting in as many bites as possible and then retreating to a safe distance. This would not be possible in this battle. Really, the only categories that could be argued for the accurate Giga could be intelligence, battle intelligence, and senses. And even battle intelligence is a bit of a leap. And the other factors won't help too much in this fight, considering Zeb seems fairly skilled in combat against large carnivores. I feel like there's nothing that the accurate Giga has in its arsenal to put down Zeb for good, especially considering he survived bites from a T-Rex. Zeb is larger, stronger, faster, more agile, more durable, more skilled, and has a stronger bite, amongst many other things. At best, we can throw pity points to the Acura Giga for intelligence, battle intelligence, and senses. And you may say that, hey, Gigas had to fight other Gigas. That means it'd be more used to fighting Zeb than Zeb would be to it. But I want to argue this. Zeb is to the point where it looks more like a hybrid than it does a real dinosaur. If you look at Rexy, for example, you'd look at it and say, yeah, that's a T-Rex. If you looked at Zeb, you wouldn't know what to say straight away, especially if you compared him to an accurate Giga. At that point, this is like fighting an entirely different dinosaur. So because of that and more, I'm gonna put the winner as Zeb. So we've reached the end of the video. And to be honest, I'm surprised that the poll was as close as it was. I really thought everyone would have sided with Zeb straight away, but hey, it's always good to see some even votes. I hope you all enjoyed seeing fiction being put up against reality, and being familiar with the JP franchise, I wasn't overly surprised about this outcome, but I thought our real life version would have posed a bit better of a challenge. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. See ya.